congresswoman na nag-urge na ipasuspindi ang SMA na dahil daw umano sa mga sari-saring violations nito. Nagulat, hindi makasagot o ilag ang mga sagot sa mga tanong ni Karen Davila na kung sakaling hindi si Romualdez sa speaker nila ang na-call out, hindi ba daw sila magre-react ng ganito? Hindi ba sila magka-come into defense ng ganito? Na alam naman nating umabot na sa pagkukilkil ng prangkisa ng SMNI. Bakit daw sa nagdaang mga administrasyon, marami namang mga nasa media ang nagko-call out sa presidente? O sa mga public officials, hindi naman daw napapatawag sa hearing. Bakit daw ngayon na si Speaker Romualdez ang na-call out e eh pinatawag agad sa hearing si Naka Eric? Dito na medyo nagis ang congresswoman na ito at binanggit na exemption daw sa Sotolo pag national security na daw ang pinag-uusapan. Paanong naging national security ang pagtatanong sa pondo ng taong bayan? Para sa iba pang detalye, narito pakinggan natin ang ilang bahagi ng interview na ito at ating komentuhan. Uting-uti po natin nakikita nagkakablabagan sa batas. Kaya nga po, parang suspendin po muna natin kasi the more that we talk about it, the more na nakikita natin and the more that we see even more violations not within their franchise with the KBP code. Kung mapapakinggan natin sa DZAR at SMNI, nirebat na ito lahat nila ator ni Rex Suplico itong mga akasosyon na violations daw umano ng SMNI. Kasi dun daw sa mismong hearing, hindi daw sila binibigyan ng chance na makapagpaliwanag ng side nila. Um, and they only withdrew a day before the first hearing, which is December 4, 2023. So lahat po ng mga ginawa nila prior to that does not erase the fact that there was a violation. There's a violation also with the MP um, RCB. May violation na rin po na mukhang nakikita natin with SEC with their amendments of uh, the Articles of Incorporation to a corporation soul. So habang, di ba, gum- ganito po yung nangyayari. Baka kailangan po muna natin suspindihin yung, ay, sasabihin sa NTC, tingnan nyo to. Kasi okay. mukhang kailangan yung suspindihin muna. Magkaiba ang words na kailangang suspindihin sa ina-urge na suspindihin. Kasi hindi nila pwedeng diktahan ang NTC dahil independent body ito mula sa executive branch. Bawal itong utusan ng kahit sino. All right okay, I'll, I'll catch on to some points you mentioned. Sure. Uh, there is no love lost here for SMNI. Okay, I'm gonna approach yeah. this. And I'll take what you said. This isn't about TikTok. When you say stay in layman's terms, this is for viewers to get behind the technicality of issues. Uh-uh, uh-uh. So, number one, when it comes to them giving the figure of the speaker spent 1.8 billion pesos for travels, clearly that was wrong. They didn't have the evidence to show it. No. Um, a journalist is asked to show evidence, right? And he did say that um, um, the source was someone for the, from the Senate. Siguro kwentuhan, right? And yes, perhaps sir. the commentator could have been more responsible in that sense. But at the end of the day, whether you like the commentator or not, he is still protected by the Soto law not to reveal a source. Yes. With that, do you agree? Well... Lumabas po yun during the hearing, and I do understand the SOTO law, but there is an exception in the SOTO law that when Which it comes what? to national security, di ba po? But, but that, what makes that national security? Na-call out lang si Romualdez at ang House of Representatives, national security na agad? Ano yan, untouchable? Hindi tayo pumapanig kay Karen dito kasi kilala naman natin siya na kampi sa istasyon nila. Pero sapul na sapul tong congresswoman na to sa tanong niya dito. Ano ba kasing special kay Romualdez at sa kamara ngayon? Bakit bawal ata silang batikusin? I mean, you know, I'm calling out a public yes. official, regardless if it were the speaker or not, yes. on trips spent. And the reason I know this is because radio commentators from mainstream media have done it with past presidents. Yes. Hindi naman sila pinatawag sa hearing. Yes po. I understand that. Because so what makes, po, I mean, on this particular end, what makes Congress the editorial chief of a free press? So, okay. With, with that, hindi naman po, sinabi ko naman po rin, 
when I did the sponsorship speech on this. This is not a, a oppression of the freedom of the press. No. But kung meron silang mga violations, they have to be accountable for that. I agree. I, no, I, I, I absolutely agree. I'm not, this is not about you. Yes. This is really just as a whole. Yes. This is as a whole, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If the commentator didn't hit on the speaker, would Congress have asked, acted? If he, let's say, hit an opposition person, somebody oh. irrelevant to the supermajority, yes. would Congress have come to the defense of the free well, press this, or, this or this information? Yeah. But this this stem from various resolutions, na po. No. Yeah, yeah, but and no, my answer, answer my question. Yes. Would the supermajority in Congress uh, as I say, I have no love lost here yes, for SMNI, yes, yes. but this is a matter of principle. If yes, it was well. not the speaker who was hit, would congressmen have acted in the same manner? Like, uh, like I said, that, so hindi lang po naman yun kasi yung nandun sa resolution po. Meron din pong pagtatama sa mga, may mga ibang resolutions po rin na na-file on this uh, Red, uh, red tagging. Okay, wala na ba siyang masagot o hirap ilagan? Kaya napunta na lang sa red tagging. Napakababaw naman ang sagot niya. Ano yun? Dahil doon, ganito na agad sila ka OA mag-react? Mukhang natamaan talaga siya nung nabanggit na ang speaker nila. On this misinformation okay. so let's on... talk about red tagging. I'm curious. The irony of this is... SMNI's 2019 franchise, but yes. the franchise was renewed in 2019. Yes, okay. Your brothers sponsored <laughs> the franchise renewal of yes. SMNI. Yes. Right? So we're talking yes. about now Secretary Carlo Nograles when he was in Congress and um, Jericho Nograles. They sponsored the SMNI renewal. Yes. Didn't they spot the violations? before they sponsored it well when you sponsor something and when congress does something champagne it's a privilege just given right this has nothing to do with who has authored it now it has to do with binigyan kayo ng privilege you're supposed to be following but i agree what, what, i have no debate on that yes the issue i'm asking is i agree with your principles completely so it leads me to this question isn't franchise revocation or renewal really just used at times? It's about who sits in power. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, let me move back. I've asked this. Mm -mm. The ABS situation is different in the sense yes. that the franchise expired. But mm -mm. that was a mainstream me media network that it could have been renewed. Mm -mm. But the powers at me didn't want. Mm -mm. So, ang tanong ko nga ito. If these violations have been going on, weren't these spotted by the very congressmen, one, two, your brothers, and the other colleagues you work with today? Yes. Did they well, spot this? In other during words, that time. The violations mm -hmm. were going on, and oh, let's just renew them anyway. Well, I cannot speak on behalf of the past Congress, but what we're looking into now is that uh, there are violations that's happening. And uh, wala po ako magagawa kung sila po, di ba, nag-sponsor po na to. Na kung mga kuya niya pala daw ang nag-sponsor na i-renew ang franchise ng SMNI noong 2019. Tapos siya naman ngayon ang nagpapasuspinde. At to think na dati ding may programa itong congresswoman na ito sa SMNI. Ano kaya ang matinding dahilan sa mga naging aksyon niya nito? At pinasa po ng past Congress, and I'm not saying anything that mali yung ginawa ng past Congress to do that. It's within their right to pass it. We're looking into what's happening now, and we are seeing violations. So let's not get, maybe let's not uh, get confused here na iba po yung, okay, in the past Congress, this was renewed, yes. But right now, we're looking into violations now because there are violations that we are seeing. Mm -mm. And of, of the violations, what is the strongest? What is the strongest violation that would merit a revocation? Because to 
to comment on he could he's wrong okay clearly he, he was wrong in the facts but that doesn't alone constitute a revocation because yes. there's so many commentators that are wrong right yes it happens yes. right so mm -hmm. ang tanong ko, what is the strongest and clearest violation of the franchise well hindi pa po nagsisimula ang paghihir po with regard to the revocation so wag natin pong unahan po because that's another hearing um what we did and what we adopted is our resolution to urge NTC because of the violations, the possible violations on their franchise. So that would be for another hearing naman po on the House bill that was filed on the revocation. Hindi niya masagot ng eksakto yung tanong dito ilang beses na hindi mo alam kung ilang lang ba siya nasagutin o hindi niya talaga masagot. Tulad na lamang dito, pinipilit niya na may violations daw ang SMNI. Tapos nung tinanong na siya kung ano yung strongest na talagang magpupush na i-revoke ang franchise. Kasi hindi naman pwedeng dahil lang dun sa issue kina ka Eric, kaya i-revoke. -re so, wala siyang nasagot dito. Ano sa palagay niyo dito mga kaibigan? Maari lamang mag-iwan ng inyong mga komento sa ibaba.